Hello and welcome back to Near Automata. Last we left it off, we were, well, about to see the commander, so I think we should go and do that right away. Don't want to upset anybody. Although well, saying that, balls to the commander, she can wait. Oh, this is cool though, check this out. Look all this uh, information up on the screen. You can see all the uh, active Yora units and the whole, like, glory of mankind thing. Hello. You right there. Everything's proceeding smoothly. There's no sign anyone's noticed any- What's your problem? Get out of my face before I rearrange yours. <laughs> Rude. I'm gonna have to read off the uh, ones that don't say anything. If that all drives you mad, as always, just let me know and I'll stop doing it. But uh, I know some of you do like a bit of reading. Let's go talk to some people. I think there's an operator. Which operator? Are you checking your mail regularly? Sometimes important mails sit around for weeks because the recipient doesn't know how to check them. So don't be that person. Check your mail regularly. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Want a piece of advice from someone who's been in your shoes before? Back up your data whenever you can. If you do that, it doesn't matter if you lose your body. You just upload the backup data to a new body and be on your merry way. Oh, it's Operator 210. Hey, 210. How may I assist you? Please keep it brief. Yeah, 210 is not one for talking. I wonder if we can see Operator... Uh, our Operator. Is she around here somewhere? There she is, 60. Hey there, how's it going? Majestic trees, pretty flowers, cute little animals. I love it all. And she's out. She's gonna be our operator. Six O is. She's lovely. Anyway, we should probably see the commander. Woo! Hey, commander. Ah, two B. Maintenance finished. Yes, commander. You detonated your black box in order to defeat the enemy. Bold, but risky. Try not to be so reckless next time. Understood. I know you're fresh out of maintenance, but I have another mission for you. I need you to head to the surface, rendezvous with the Resistance, and do some recon. Doesn't Yorha have a dedicated Resistance contact already? We haven't been able to get in touch with them, so we'll need you to look into that as well. Understood. Well, gotcha. Wait, what are we gonna do? Why are you still here? You should have the destination data for your next mission. Yikes. Uh, what about these people? Are you friendly? Hello? This unit was only manufactured recently, so she's still quite nervous. Aww. Hello. The operators try hard to explain everything, but I'm still so confused. I just hope I don't get in anyone's way. Aww. She looks very friendly. Anyway, we have a job to do, so let's uh, let's crack on. Nine no, is gonna be sticking with us for the for the well for the rest of it now, really. The He's surface. A that means we'll be getting flight units, huh? Better head for the hangar. <laughs> Usually we can't get near flight units. They're way too expensive for us grunts. Too bad they can't mass produce these things yet. They are really expensive. Also, me and you keep breaking them, which is bad too. I never get tired of looking at Earth. The hangar? You can get to it from the elevator to my left, which is good. That does look nice. I love this whole like static camera ahead. like this. Yeah. Let's go. Sure. No point beating around the bush. Let's just head up to the hangar. I mean, space is lovely and all, but it's uh, you know, kind of empty. Ooh, an item. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Her balance sensors get damaged, so she gets motion sickness. No matter how many times I repair the sensors, the problem comes back. It's almost like it's in her head or something. You guys take care of yourselves so you don't end up like her, alright? Oh, that sucks. Motion sickness is the worst. Hello. Hey there, are you going onto Earth again? I'd give almost anything to spend more time in a flight unit. We'd all like that, but they're expensive, delicate pieces of equipment, so they don't just hand them out willy-nilly. And new combat types are the worst. Last time you used a flight unit, it came back with huge scratches on the side. Who do you think fixes that, huh? We do. We work our fingers to the bone to get you a beautiful ride, and you go and crap all over it. All right, all right, I get it. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Also, what are you wearing? It's like a fetish convention up here. Man, I wish my car did that. It, it doesn't, just to clarify. Hey, 2B. Why do you think they sent a combat model like you to a recon job? If all they want is intel, we scanner models are built for that kind of thing. Orders are orders. All right, all right. Well, that doesn't stop us slaughtering tons and tons of robots. So let's get cracking. 2B, you're going to have some new weaponry installed from here on out. I'll put up instructions for you. Make sure to commit them to memory. Roger. I 
really hope we don't hit any, uh, you know, buildings or anything. So we get the missile barrage now as well, which is like the flight unit upgrade, which is kind of nice. Let's also try not to take too much damage. That would be kind of cool for us. Silly little robots. Alright. We need to avoid these perfectly. Ooh. There we go. Nice. Again, you got to pay attention to quite a lot of stuff when you're in the flight units. There's a lot going on. Ugh. Just, just unnecessary. Bunker to 2B, come in. I've set a landing point for your flight units. You'll be touching down quite a ways from the resistance camp, unfortunately. Sorry for the trouble, but we can't risk the enemy discovering their position. Understood. Good luck down there. I don't know, 6 is quite a ways. It's, it's, it's not that far. It's like, I don't know, 100 meters or whatever. I think the robots probably could have figured that out, but hey. So, uh, well, Earth, it's nice. I mean, technically we've been here before, but, you know, this time we're not getting sort of brutally murdered instantly, which is always a big plus. We also get quite a nice view up here, so let's uh, have a quick nosy. Whoop. Target location acquired. Marking on map. Proposal. Proceed to target location. Really? Thanks, Pod. So the mini that's just telling us what the minimap does, but it's quite the view up here, I think. It's nice. I mean, okay, the city's a bit worse for wear, but, you know, I think plant life kind of adds to it, really. Got trees going through buildings and all sorts. Anyway, can't stand around here all day, but let's float our way gently to the ground, because we don't want to go splat, hey, it's kind of embarrassing. Me. Uh, yeah, Ninus? What up? Or was he just surprised I jumped off the building? Now, we do want to go to the resistance camp, but there is some goodie collection to do first. Yoink. We could have just, you know, gone down the stairs in the building, but eh, details. Ooh, what's this? Oh yes, other players' bodies. So that means somebody snuffed it here. Now what we can do is we can retrieve the body here. Nice. And we gain some money and a few, like, upgrades, which, well, are kind of nice, but uh, they'll wear off before we get to do anything productive with them. Interesting note, uh, these robots are kind of... <laughs> I was going to say uh, non-aggressive, but I just punted one into the other one, so never mind. There's a few things we can do before heading straight to our main objective. Proposal. Eliminate enemies in vicinity and restore access point immediately. Nice. There we go, we got a slightly more detailed map. Map data obtained from Bunker. Data may be displayed from the system menu. Map data, huh? It's hard to get an accurate picture from this. Our satellite resolution isn't so hot. Hopefully they deploy some new satellites soon. A general idea is good enough. You don't let anything get in your way, do you? According to our intel, none of the machines in this area are hostile. We've been seeing more and more enemies like this lately. They just stand there and stare into space. It's pretty weird. It is pretty weird now you think about it, but that doesn't get really get in our way of, you know, our main mission, which is to murder. And efficiently, too. Again, there's just items we can pick up along the way, so we may as well. This is downtown. I'm not entirely sure what city this is supposed to be, or where it's supposed to be. Maybe we'll find out, eh? Anyway. Copper ore. Oh yeah, we can also go fishing. Check this out. We can even get a holographic chair. Check it out. We can just sit. Okay, fishing is quite funny. We just dump the pod in. It goes plop. We wait for it to get sucked under the water. Uh, which hopefully will happen. Whenever you're ready, pod. 
He needs to go like completely under. I'm not sure if he's actually going to do that. Are you going to show me up in front of all these people, bud? I think he is. Complete. Yeah, yeah. Let's try it here. Come on. Commencing. Try again, pod. Get me some fish. Pod. Feel like we're not going to uh, achieve much Report here. Complete. Fine, I'm going to take it out on this peaceful robot. Oh yeah, we don't have a heavy weapon right now, so we're just going to hit things with our fists. Which is absolutely acceptable. I think it's quite pretty around here. So, hey. Right, we actually have a job to do, which is the resistance camp, so let's go have a look. Whoop. It's nice enough, you know, as far as the resistance camps go. So this is the resistance camp, huh? We should probably go talk to their leader first thing. Yeah, that sounds pretty sensible. I mean, we can talk to some random people. Like, you're a Euro soldier, right? I've been expecting you. Have you met our fearless leader, Anemone? I think you have, right? Or maybe not. Uh, that's a hint. We should probably go talk to her. You're number two. Hmm? You know about 2B? Um, yes. Well, the bunker told me to expect you. My name is Anemone. I'm the leader of the android resistance that controls most of this territory. You must be the new scouts we heard about. Well, I'm sure my people will have plenty of information for you. Please, feel free to ask them anything you like. Sweet, thanks. More importantly, I'm to steal your stuff. And, you know, steal this. And just generally go around and steal things. So, let's go steal. Let's see if we can find us some goodies. There's some goodies up there. Bonk. You know, those two look mighty familiar. Eh, probably just imagining things. Anyway, let's go talk to the actual targets here. So we need to mosey over this way. Excuse me, sir. You have an important quest target on your head. Oh, you must be with your... I heard about what happened. I deal in weapons, if you're interested in that kind. What kind of weapons? Basically, I rebuild and repair relics from the old world. Although, to be honest, my tools are in pretty sad shape at the moment. But I, if I can get the servicing device in that toolbox up and running, I can start fixing and selling weapons again. Take a look at it, will you? Sweet! That looks busted, alright. You know it, and I bet you can tell. I'm no good at that sort of delicate repair. So we can just not help him, which seems kind of ludicrous, so we can help him out. You mean it? That'd be a huge help. Looks like the servicing device shorted out. Maybe you have put too much load on it. I'm thinking four complex gadgets will be enough to fix it. Any ideas where I'd find complex gadgets? Folks say you can find them in this, over there in the city ruins. Though I also hear the place is crawling with incredibly aggressive machines. Well, that's fine. We can deal with that. And we can talk, this thing talks about subquests for us. Ah, bonk. More importantly, let's talk to this fella. Welcome, welcome. It's always nice to get new customers. You some kind of supply trader for the resistance? You know it. Every item here is handcrafted from abandoned parts and stuff plundered from enemy corpses. So then, to business. What can I get you? Actually, there is a couple of things I need to kind of have, which is uh, I'm going to have some of these. And I'm going to get one of these. It's kind of expensive, but that will be quite useful. And some bait. It'll make sense in a minute. Do you sell plug-in chips? You mean those little doodads that serve as power-ups for your body? Afraid not. I'd love to sell plug-in chips, but I don't have the necessary raw materials. Now, if I happen to get those raw materials, I bet we could do business. But until then... Say, now there's an idea! What if you got the materials for me? I got this bum leg, see? Can't really get around myself. Can't you just repair your own leg? You work in the supply trade, after all. If only. Unfortunately, all of our parts are dedicated to the war effort. Can't spare any for myself. Personally, I'm hoping you wipe out this machine so I can start dancing again. 
But until then, we look for what I need. Sure. Alright. Oh, thanks a million. Okay, so I need one broken spring, one small gear, and one broken circuit. You can smash up a few of the small machines to find them. You can obtain them from enemies in the big open area towards the left when you exit the camp. Target location data obtained. Sure. Marking on map. Sure enough. Okay, well, first things first, let's go and get the bits we need for these fellas, because this is kind of the you need to do this quest to get moving thing. Bonk. Let's get going. Now, we got a goal, which is to beat up some enemies. And we can beat up the small ones for... Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Just talked about side quests and interesting things. This must have been quite a city once upon a time. Too bad vegetation's claim most of it now. Operator 6-0 to 2-B. It is time for your regularly scheduled contact. This is 2-B. Nothing to report. Good to hear. Say, how's the weather on Earth today? Good? It's fine. Does that question have anything to do with our operation? Not really. I just figured it might feel nice to have some good weather. Feeling nice has no bearing on completing missions. <laughs> that is so like you, 2B. Anyway, talk to you later. OMG, 2B. Sort it out. Okay, we're this at the first the mission that target. weapons trader was talking about. Uh-oh. I'm picking up hostile machine life forms. Yeah, these guys are pretty hostile. It's the axe that gives it away, you know. <laughs> He's gonna axe us a question. Do it. Whoop! Too late for you, Slowpoke. Um, again, once we get a nice dodge out of the way, we can smack him about. One more to go. Zappy zappy. Yoink. And I think there's one more floating around somewhere. I think we must have missed it. There it is. I'll have that. Thank you very much. That's the mission done. That should be enough. Let's get these back to the trader. You get to see how the uh, side quests in this work. Some of them are more in depth than this, but a lot of it is involving just, you know, good old fashioned collecting and murder, which is all fine and good. Isn't it nice here, though? Kind of peaceful. All the birds, the trees. Although a smidge sinister without any life, I guess. Well, the, I guess the android cat has life, but hey. Plant life has claimed most of the central area. Big plants, too. Report. Records show that vegetation has grown to an abnormal size since the departure of humans. Hmm. Wonder if there are any huge boars and such, too. Ah, uh, there's definitely huge boars. And we're going to sort that in a minute. Okay, we need some certain items. Now, the little ones can sometimes drop what we need, but probably not these ones. But it can be a little bit random, so we'll just have a look around. We might get what we want. Rustic clump. Nah. Ah, flying machines. They're all worth killing, to be honest. They're all XP, they're all items, they all drop money. You know, and it's just for the funsies of killing them, I guess. Bang, and one more. Let's zap him proper. Nice. Of course, there are things we can do around here as well, such as... Hypothesis. Jam Ooh. caused by enemies in local vicinity. There we go, and that's another one of our little... Hold on. Oh, there we go. No, another rustic clump. Boo! Damn robots. Okay, we can get the map data from here as well. This would make more sense if I show you the actual map, I guess. So, if we go to this screen, you can kind of see we've our satellite. Now the more these things we unlock, the, easy, the sort of better the satellite reception gets. At the moment we can't see bugger all. But this is our sort of rough area at the moment. Cool. Now we need to head back to the front area where we sort of jumped in from and see if we can get ourselves some of those parts those robots have. Alright big chap. Ooh. Hey! Went for his legs! Nonsense. These guys are pretty easy to smash up anyway. There we go. Now, if you dodge and shoot at the same time, you get like a grenade effect, which is kind of handy. Ooh. Right. 